What's up everybody? It's the next day. Um, I finally got out here. It took me a little bit. It's almost like 5 o'clock right now. But uh, I am going to start trying to flow these <laughs> like super redneck style. So I'll have like somewhat of an idea what, you know, what that flow. Also, I hit up the junkyard today. So I uh, picked up some goodies or a goodie and then uh, take a look at it uh, in a bit. All right, this is what I picked up. Another PCM. Um, it's a red blue out of a 03 Silverado. I don't know if it's two wheel drive, four wheel drive, probably four wheel drive. Um, I thought I'd get a spare. My other one's a 99. It's in right there. I do a little harness work right now with that. And uh, I thought I'd just check them both out, see which one's better before I unlock one. Since, uh, you know, I'm gonna spend the money, pick a good one. So uh, we'll take a look at these. I need to make like a bench top, um, a bench top flasher of some sort. I think I'll make a video of that coming up uh, probably in the next few days. But yeah, I got those. Now I'm gonna do some flowing and I don't, know, don't really need to watch it. I'll just tell you the results after. Well, I just got done testing with my uh, redneck setup and um, results are in. One of them is a little low. They all are testing pretty close what they're supposed to be. Uh, this one right here is testing way low. I'll show you my findings. Bring it over here and I ram them down. So those numbers are actually um, 45 cc for 10 seconds. And then times that by six, I got about 258 for 43. They're all reasonably close except the number two cylinder which I'm going to retest and uh, see what I get. Hopefully it's still good because uh, I don't have to find another injector or buy another one of these injectors because they're not really that good. I haven't checked eBay yet so maybe I can find one cheap because they're not like a crazy flowing injector. Actually the LS4 uh, injectors are rated at 58 psi of uh, fuel pressure and they show 30 um, pound 30 pounds on the injectors so at 43 which I'm pretty sure that's what the tanks pushing out right now and I'm getting right around uh, 22 to 24 so I'll check that one I'll actually uh, show you how I'm checking it and then see if it's still good or still or if it's not good uh, maybe this guy blew his motor and this injector was a culprit I don't know so this is like a second hand manifold from somebody else that didn't need it or wasn't using it and they found it for me and also when I got it there was different uh, fuel in it, it must have been running like race gas or something because it was uh, green I don't know what kind of fuel was green if it's like oxygenated or VP or something like that so that's what I was planning on doing if uh, I was running out of injector I was gonna you know go to like a better fuel and try to compensate for it but I'll ch check this injector. I did plan on running different injectors when I changed my setup, but I didn't want to do that right now. I just wanted to get it running. So I'll show you how I'm testing them. All right, I think I got it on there. I got my clock running. There we go. Also, it seems like my injectors leak on some of them. I don't know if that's because they weren't used for a while. I do have an ultrasonic cleaner, so maybe I can clean them and it'll freshen them up. I don't know. I'll have to research a little bit more, but uh, let's go check what this is. All right, I got it over on this flat surface. Yeah, it looks like it's about 35 which ain't much different from 32 so maybe if I send that injector through a sonic cleaner I can get away with it otherwise uh, I might have to find another one because uh, I don't want to send that one in there with the other ones 
because the, all the other ones are pretty damn close to each other. It's just like that one. And I also will scour eBay and see if I can find one, just like one. All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. Uh, I'm gonna try cleaning them. I got my ultrasonic cleaner. I actually threw mineral spirits in this. I got like, just chooching right here. Just wonder if anything like weird would happen. Doesn't look like it. I got my injector right here, took off the O-rings, and uh, probably put it in for, I think it goes up to 600 seconds, and that's heated. I think if I have it heated, it'll help a little bit. It doesn't get super hot either. So, uh, reset it. Get it centered. There we go. All right, we'll come back, see. If it helped any, I might uh, stir it around too, make sure it's, you know, like getting in the injector or whatnot. But it's not flowing through because it's not firing. But maybe it'll clean it, maybe it won't, I don't know. We're just gonna have to find out in a bit. All right, got it all cleaned up. Um, I actually did a couple cycles, worm cycle and a regular cycle. And I did uh, move it around a little bit. So we'll pop this in, put the O-rings on, and uh, put it on the rail and see if it flows any better. All right, purged it a little bit, and we're gonna see what we get. Roughly 10 seconds, give or take. It's not a hundred percent accurate with my setup. A little redneck setup, but uh, that's what we got. Let's go check it out. And you know what? I think it worked. See that 30 line? And then that uh, bigger line's 40. I don't know if you can see that. And it's right about 42, which I'd find that acceptable from for what set I have set up right here, I'd say that's a success. So, uh, I think I'm gonna install that rail now. There, I got them installed. Um, they'll work. I think you can see this, it's kinda dark out here now. Kinda wrapping up. Um, did flow test them, bolted down. I gotta get a longer bolt for my map sensor. This is just a one and a half, I think, when I looked it up. That's fine, we're not boosting this. I still need some plugs. So uh, all I gotta do now is uh, rip out the MSD harness and then start putting in a standalone harness and do the computer. Which, uh, yeah, I'll have to load up HP tuners and tune it up, but that's where I'm at right now. So I'm wrapping it up, calling it a night. So uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, come back sometime. See ya. <laughs>